Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra and today I want to share with you the Sterling Inc. Deluxe subscription for October of 2023. So I got this a couple of days ago and I just haven't had time to film. It's been really hectic around here. Um, and as you can see, I've already opened the packaging. I wanted to see what, what the color scheme was this month. And you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. I am not a neutral person. I love color. Um, like all different types of color and you guys if you've watched my channel I you guys know I love color I switch out my binders every month and I always I'm pretty much in a colored binder um, all the time so anyway I realized I was like oh pleasantly surprised because I really like this theme now it kind of reminds me of last theme um, last time it was like purple with um, like, like purple accents and purple is my favorite color so I love last month but this one, like, it, it's got the same idea. So it's got the stamps with the writing, which last month had. But this one has, like, cabbage leaves and berries and fall leaves. And I love the touches of brown. So I don't normally like it. Like I said, I don't normally like neutral. But the browns in here, like, when I use this kit, I mostly use this kit in my Hobonichi journaling because I get the transparent washi tape type stickers. They go better in my Hobonichi. Um, so the paper, I haven't really used it yet and I haven't really used, um, like I use these sometimes in my compact or I use them in my, um, my Hobonichi weeks for my son's health. But yeah, I haven't really touched those as much. I mean, they are cute. Like if, um, like if you guys watch Buy, Sell, Plan, Marsha from Buy, Sell, Plan, she uses these for dividers, which is a really cool idea. And that is a nice idea actually if, um, you were to take these, cut them in half, even if you don't use them as dividers per se, which if you did, they make a really nice light divider. So if you want to use vellum, um, cut, you know, cut out your divider or just cut the paper in half to make a half letter and they can be used as dashboards and or add some color to your planner, which is really cool. And then you can laminate them. So you can or you can't, but I prefer laminating mine. I do have five millimeter laminating paper, which makes mine a bit thicker, but um, I started doing that when I saw the jeans agenda dashboards, like they were all laminated. It just helps to protect them. And it also makes a little bit of a sturdy backing in your planner. So I kind of prefer that. But yeah, um, if you want to have a thinner dashboard or a thinner divider, definitely use vellum. And you can even print your own stuff. Like it, I always design stuff, design stuff on Canva. And then if you print it on vellum, it's just so nice. Like the quality of it, you can actually get really thick vellum on Amazon. And um, maybe what I'll do is link my choice down below. I have a thin version of vellum that's thinner than the stuff you get from Sterling Ink. But then I also have a thicker version, which is thicker than the stuff you get from Sterling Ink. And, um, you know, I, I don't mind Sterling Ink's, like, the thickness of their vellum. It's 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 a nice thickness. It's a, kind of like a medium. Um, and I, I don't mind. I, I kind of like a variety of all different things, depending what I'm using it for. So here is the dates. I have been saving these for a future planning. Um, I don't know what yet, but for something. I use these um, to, like, as tabs for my Hobonichis. And I also have been saving these because I can put them in like a bullet journal or a notebook or something for future dates. This is the sticker that came on top of the paper. Like, I, I do, I really like this. So then you get another one of these monthly script. This one's in script that's always printed. I like how this one's like spaced out a bit more. So then here is a die cut that came in the package and it was like this cute little vintage typewriter. This was the sticker that came on the package, like on top of the tissue paper. Uh, then you get this sticker calendar. So sometimes I put this in my Hope and Week. Weeks, sometimes my compact, it just depends. Um, and then we get into the stickers. So I, I use these in my Hobonichi um, to cover up the days of the week because they're a script and they're really pretty. Um, and yeah, so I do get the deluxe box, which means I get the stamps, I get the picture frames, I get all of the, all of the things basically. And so when you can tell, like a lot of the times, like to me, the stamps really look vintage, right? Like in any of the kits that we've had so far, these ones, I can tell that they've got brown tones and I kind of like that. I can't wait to break out my, my browner fountain ink, pen, like fountain ink colors to use in October's setup. 
I think it's really, really cute. This one is all of the um, thin washi strips. This, I, like, I think this one has got to be like my favorite sheet, honestly, like out of everything. I love how it looks like ripped paper. This is the picture frames. And then these two are exactly the same. These are kind of like washi strips um, and, and like bigger stickers, right? So these are the bigger decorative strips. I really do like those brown leaves, like the fall leaves in here. I like this one too. This doesn't have any foil on it though. This is another um, section of date dots. I've been saving those too. These ones are smaller. These ones have the um, foil on them. I, I really like this. I like the foil stickers. They're so pretty. Okay, um, some more leaves again along the same lines. I have it upside down, but you know, that's fine. Then this one is a small version of like the big square boxes, also with foiled. And then you've got this one as well. It's a smaller piece of paper, but it's got bigger stickers on it. So yeah, I really, I'm really into this vibe this month. I don't know. Um, but just so you guys are aware, I did skip next month um, just because we had other financial commitments this month. So I skipped next month, so I won't be getting November. So I hope it's not utterly gorgeous because then I'm going to be devastated. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to extend my September and October kit to last a little bit longer. And then maybe in the new year, I'll start ordering again, just, uh, you know, to save up for Christmas and to save up for other stuff that we that we want to get. So anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a very quick flip through of this kit, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new, please subscribe, click on the bell button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.